Welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn. And I'm your host, Paige Jen. And thank you guys for joining us another week. We couldn't do this without you. We wouldn't have a podcast without you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for helping us take over the world. Thank you for having ears. Thank you for clicking. We love you. And uh, we have Brett and Maggie here today. Hello. 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 How y'all doing over there? Really good. Kind of tired, actually, mm, you know, okay. from things. <laughs> what are you tired from, Brett? You know, just driving a lot. I'm sick and tired of being sick and You tired. drove from your house to here, but I got you. 25 yeah, minutes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, before that. You can mm, be tired. You can be tired. Okay, yeah. 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 Sometimes gotcha. people get tired. Yeah. Do we have the timer set? Well, the timer said it. We're at nine, nine minutes and 30 seconds left, so we did good for 30 seconds. Okay. Everybody. You know what's a trip is how quick and how loud you can just start snoring in a car. What you mean? No. Nah. Huh. Well, what are you talking about? On tour. How let's, you... let's talk about tour. Seems like you're going snorkeling. Yeah. So when so I'm good Bad. at sleeping in a car. Oh. I can sleep in a car. I can set up straight. This is just me. <sighs> yeah, so... You're good at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've told y'all, if I snore, just tap me. Just say, shut up. But then... But we will... don't want to do that. You're in REM, you know? Mm. But then it will start up two minutes later. Yeah. Yeah. Brett, yeah. thank you for thinking about my REM. Yeah. Yeah, your basketball REM. Thank you for my thinking about... Thank you for respecting my REM. Mm-hmm. But I don't mind if you nudge me, if I'm, if I'm being loud. Yeah. First, you know, put some earbuds in and listen to maybe some, you know, music. But if... If that don't work. I, I tried one time, and I could hear you through it, and I was just like, dang, you know what? That's a really cool talent to have. I can fall asleep in one minute. Wow. No, I, one she can second. fall asleep in one second. I At think. home, but I have to yeah. be in a bed. Mm. Yeah. To, for you to be able to sleep wherever is one a goal. Yeah. Because sleeping is everything to me, I ne- and I need a lot of it. Mm-hmm. So I can make it happen. Our friend Tiana, when we were on set of Pletplix, she uh, could sleep anywhere, sleep, too. Yeah. Sleep it anywhere. Great. It's, it's pretty nice. good at it. Yeah. Well, I, I do want to talk mm-hmm. about tour a little bit. We've been having a blast, but before we get into a few tour stories, tonight, tonight, we're going to be in Minneapolis. Yeah. And then we're going to have shows in Chicago, mm-hmm. Indianapolis, Columbus, Detroit, Philly, Boston, New York City, Charlotte, and we're ending the tour in Atlanta. A lot of those shows are sold out. Not all of them. Please go to theviralpodcast.co pull and up. get your tickets and pull up. Camille. Uh-huh. Camille. Hey, Camille. Th- this, oh, yeah. this, is, this is us to you. Ready? Camille. 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 Hey, come to a show. Hey, Camille. Get your tickets get a ticket. and Camille. 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 Swipe up, get your tickets, and Camille. Because <laughs> we've been having a blast, dude. Oh, dude, I love tour. I know you- you guys finger bang with your middle. Yeah. And I like totals. Yeah. Well, and I will say yeah. this. Um, oh, we have another. Oh, sorry. Tour that is uh, finger bang swearing. I thrive on tour, dude. I I like. I really love it. You love tour. Um, I knew we would have fun, but I'm having more fun than I ever thought possible. Like at the shows, I knew they would be fun, but I am absolutely having the time of my life. They end almost too quick for me. Like, I'm up there mm-hmm. going, what? Their show's already <clears throat> done? And Chelsea's like, dude, we've gone over time. And I still just like, mm-hmm. it, I want to keep doing this. I know. So here's the thing. Like, we're booked for an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half show that's pretty normal and common for a show like this or, mm-hmm. or a comedy show. It's pretty normal. Um, some venues will let you go over, and they're not not a big deal. Some venues are uh, union, and you cannot go over. You'll be charged a big hefty fee it's a big deal like you can't go over your time blah blah blah. but the ones that we can go over we have been oh we make sure to go over yeah we have been and we'll go like an hour and 45 minutes and i'm not even kidding you and y'all will know if you've been to a show it feels like the show lasts 20 minutes Mm -hmm. it goes by so fast because we're having so much fun Mm -hmm. but i guess it's good it's better that way than having a drag on and then you're like oh damn i'm getting sleepy exactly 
Oh my gosh. The it's inter- almost like we could, I feel like we could just do everything again that we already just did, you know, like do trivia all, all over again. And then the rock fucker thing. Brett, you just, Brett. You, your time. You said the F word. You messed up. We the... don't get money, but. <laughs> Brett. So, Brett, that's why we tell you to lean back. No taki. What are you looking at me like that for? I'm not. You I should just, see him behind his glasses. I just, I just played crickets. I just saw him go. He's he's doing that. Brett. I, did you hear me play the crickets? Brett, stop. He connected his computer and he's got all the sounds because he thinks oh. since he was playing the sounds on the stage. Yeah. He's trying to I come just over and malt be quick. good to have two people. You know, yeah. just in case. I mean, I don't want to step on any toes. Well, you got the crickets on right now. <laughs> yeah, and there are people are talking. Mm-hmm. Brett, turn the crickets oh my. on. Oh, ah, ah. If you're not a video listener and you audio listen, watch the YouTube and just look at Brett's face just now. Hey, Brett. That's why he wears his glasses. Could you hear the crickets? I couldn't hear him. Ah! He doesn't. But it's kind of <laughs> hard for you to be the sound dude if you can't hear the sound. He doesn't, you're have, he doesn't have his headphones on. I forgot. Yeah. So how are you going to run sound? It hurts my ears. Put I can't the, hear and it hurts my ears. I'm done. Okay. And still hasn't gone and done anything about but it. But I forgot that the crickets last that long. So I'll just remember. Come on, Brett. Time. Turn them I off. I got it. I got it. Off. Okay, yeah. well, like I was saying, people have been dressing up as shrimps. Yes. Y'all been wearing your moo-moos. Positive talks. People have came dressed up as positive talks. Um, we've seen a two-hold wiener. Oh, we one, saw one wiener, two holes. One wiener, two, two holes. holes. Girl had two two holes in her ears a at the uh, with Seattle show. Baby Gail. Baby Gail. She Baby was, dre- Gil. She Baby was dressed Gil. up looking cute. <laughs> Um, everyone, all the two girls in the jean outfits dressed up as like our 80s photo shoot. There's just, aww. everyone's been pulling through, mm-hmm. dude. And, yeah. and all the J's, dude. Yeah. Oh, Brett. <sighs> Brett. Brett. All the jumpers. You don't need no jumpers. All the fadeaway jumpers. Mm-hmm. No, no Kobe's. But people have been showing up to party and we've been partying. Yeah. Energies have been just. Bro. And great. Well, I want to say this. We have had multiple venues come up to me and Paige after the show mm-hmm. and tell us one of two things. And sometimes they've told us both. Malt and leak. And malt and leak. <laughs> and a malt click. Mm-hmm. No, they have told us either, hey, I've been working at this venue eight years. I've never heard a crowd that loud when people walked out. Or they've said, we've never, if it's a club and they're like serving drinks or whatever, they've said, we've never had a nicer crowd, be more kind be more awesome we haven't had problems with anybody y'all bring in great people yes so shout out to shout out to all of y'all listening and coming to the shows and doing that because we feel so good when you when they say that to us yeah we're just proud you know you feel like proud parents or something like when somebody says something good about your kid like that's how it makes us feel when people say things about y'all at the at the clubs we're like we're like thank you so because we're all just one you know so yeah. at the end of the day, it's just if we get a bad review, it feels like that's yeah. us too. Right. But uh oh, I guess hmm. What one, is it? One girl she uh didn't have queef consent. Yeah. That let, that's let me, been the only Let me tell a story. Hmm. We were in San Francisco and had a great show. Oh, and I was leaving. And the security guard was out front and kind of an older guy and I was telling him bye, and I said, hey, did, did you have a good night? Was everybody good? Like, you know, everybody, you didn't have any problems with people or whatever? And he goes, no, everyone was great. We did have one girl walk up and queef on one of the security guards, and he was not happy about it. And he was being dead serious. And I go, oh. He goes, yeah, she needs to learn to ask people before she queefs on them. <laughs> and I go, did you kick her out? He goes, no, I gave her a warning. And we went to the car and we're dying laughing because oh, he was warning. so serious. I mean, he's mm-hmm. right. Hey, ask someone before you queef on them. Also, how do you walk up and queef on someone? Just stick your leg up, give him a little poof. And she did. And she did. But it's why coward. a security guard out of everyone there? <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Maybe she thought it would be secure with him. So if you come to a show and you feel like queefing on a security guard, just say, hey, can I queef on you first? Mm-hmm. Always ask. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, nine times out of ten, you'll be surprised. They'll say yes. Yeah. For sure, to get queefed on. That same security guard who told you that when I walked out, he's like, thanks for showing your tits and doing this and doing this. Like, 
he was having the yeah. he should have been the queef don guy yeah she picked the wrong security guard. right and we had a security guard all these security guards are awesome mm-hmm. we had a security guard in uh seattle after the show come up and goes I had so much fun. I can't believe I got paid for that. Uh-huh. I know. That makes you feel good too. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Yeah. If I love when the venue people come up. Uh-huh. And they're like, we had a great time. Like they were at the show, you know? So one dude, I think it was San Diego. I can't remember the club, but he was like, I haven't seen something like this since the year two thousand two when two girls were up on stage sucking up water in their hoo-ha and spraying it on the crowd and we came up second to that Damn. <laughs> we didn't do the countdown so fuck you we're not you. doing the countdown hey, in 10 you. seconds hey if you're you if you're playing audio and you don't have headphones fuck, fuck you. you hey if you're listening at home and 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 you have you want to get something out and do some stress out fuck, fuck you. you if you can't do a rubik's fuck cube you. fuck you, fuck you. If you don't like putting puzzles together, fuck you. If you don't like playing card games, fuck you. That's the best part of the show. Fuck oh, you. Just hey, and if you're listening at home and, and you got kids around or you're at work and you can't say fuck you, but you want to, say it with us real quietly in your head. Fuck you. Fuck you. If your partner is sleeping right now next to you, go fuck you <laughs> in his ear. Or her ears. Yeah. I had two ladies come to me after a show, and the lady had brought her mom, and the mom was all older. And she goes, "My mom loves the podcast. I started. I got her watching it." And the mom goes, "My favorite part is yelling fuck you after ten minutes." She goes, "I'll sit there and I'll wait for it, and I'll just go fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> Everybody was bringing their mom. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was the dope part. Lots I of love moms. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah, keep bringing your moms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of moms. Dude, what was up with those one guys who came up to me? Like Keith, the remember Toby? Stop. Will you tell him? Yeah. We were in Oklahoma City at the meet and greet, and three guys came up. Love, loved them, by the way. They said, come mail. They said, come mail. Come mail. Walked come up, in. and one of them goes, da- I mean, this this guy was an actor. Because he because he really because he really got me. He walks up and goes, So I'm I I didn't know who you were tonight. They my friends brought me here. He goes, but I'm a psychic medium. And during the whole show, and he walked up to Paige. And he goes, dead serious. He goes, I, during the whole show, I just want to let you know that I had a a, a male presence come forward, um, and I'm getting like a T name, like Toby or something. And he he was, I look over, I <laughs> looked, I looked over at Chelsea, and I'm like Toby Keith, and, and she's like, I'm, and he's letting you know that it's okay. He's fine. He's he's not mad or whatever. And we, Paige was like, what? I go, it's I go. It's got to be Toby Keith because you don't know another Toby. <laughs> yeah, we're and sitting there thinking. I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh, all these weird coincidences has happened with Toby Keith. <laughs> Y'all are and, so <laughs> mad. <laughs> and the guy's like, Toby Keith, and I, and so I butt in. And I go, listen, we talked about Toby Keith eating our asses during a podcast, and then weeks later he announces that he's sick with cancer, <laughs> yeah. and then we felt bad, and then and I it, sang a song and posted it on my backup Instagram account and then he died that night like all these things and then they're like oh we're just fucking with you and we're like bro i go so Paige has been feeling bad about toby keith and he goes oh we're, we're fucking with you he goes I'm, I'm not he goes i watched the podcast that's the best thing oh, yeah. that's go, the dude, best thing i've ever heard. i was like dude you fucking got me got I go, you're a good actor because he he really was he had a Stella. straight and chelsea later on was like dude we should have known already that we were getting got because when they came up, the dude Camille. who got you said, come in. Come in. Hey, we should have known. You should have known. Yeah. And <laughs> it was the friend, though, who was, I was like, who dug that deep and, like, came up with that? And one of the guys was like, me, I know. that." So I'm like, dude, they really are listeners. It was good. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Y'all got got. It it was, we got got. Funny as hell. We got got. And the fact that y'all were so invested Maggie. into it, dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, was, I was freaking out even in my head i'm like okay i wonder what's is it toby keith's birthday like i I was wondering what's gonna happen next and <laughs> well it's the way they did it because yeah. they didn't come up and like i mean that's the first thing that was said when they walked up he goes listen i have to i have to talk about it and he was so good at it that they got you with it, psychic medium yeah they need to go do that to yeah. more people and film yeah. that shit we've been having a blast at the shows i can't talk about it enough 
Um, we are going to, um, we have recorded one show. I know we talked about not, we weren't going to record any shows. This was just going to be for people coming. We've decided to record one show. And when it is ready to go and done editing after the podcast tour, we are going to Put that behind some sort of paywall and everything earned on the show will go to um, those affected by the hurricanes all over. We have we have yet to pick, pinpoint an exact charity we're going to give it to, but yes. we're going to give it to a good one. We're not going to give it to one to where the CEO makes $2 million a year. And you don't see where the no. money goes. Yeah, we'll actually give it to people that yes. are helping. Absolutely. And the people that need it. Yeah. So we will 100%... Of everything earned mm -hmm. off that that live wow. viral podcast will go to those affected uh, by the hurricanes, and we'll have that you know be on the lookout for that is what we're saying. Yes. So that's the only one we're gonna you know put out there. So it will be behind a pussy paywall. Yes, but and if you want to come see it live, please the viral podcast dot go. Yes, and if you were affected, like oh, fucking, man. we are yeah. thinking and. Yeah. Gosh, we, yeah. I can't even imagine. So we love you guys. Yeah. Honestly, at a loss for words, to be honest with you. I, it's like you, you don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. You just do what you think you... And you then you don't you, even know what's real or what's... Like, you see so many videos and then people yes. saying it's not being reported. People and have, then, like, well, I don't even know what the hell... Have you seen the AI videos people have yeah. been faking? That's horrible. Or people will post videos from five years ago yes. That, yes. about hurricanes that weren't even... So and, really do your research and also, like... I know the news and media probably does freaking mm -hmm. hide a lot. Dude, they do that and then they'll put GoFundMe's in their I know. link. It's sad. I know. Don't get got. Mm -mm. So we're we we've done our research, we've narrowed it down. So it you know, if you do happen to to um pay for it and watch it, all your money will go towards towards that. So just know that. Also, we've been watch we've been listening to a lot of old viral podcasts on the road. We've been driving a lot. Mm-hmm really listening and we even think we're like dude if we weren't <laughs> dude, it's so dumb to say say it okay we said <laughs> no we said if we weren't us we would listen to us <laughs> 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 we were listening to like episode 52 or 58 or something oh my. and we were laughing so hard because we forget this was year that was years ago we forget yeah and we were laughing so hard i go bro i would listen to us <laughs> And Paige was like, we're so conceited. I go, I just would. We were dying laughing about that. And we were also dying laughing one night in a parking lot. Just me and Chelsea crying <laughs> that we made a a recap of the gender, re the viral gender reveal video. We made a Q&A following up to the viral video. Like, who does that? I know, us. We need to do a recap of the recap. <laughs> a yeah. recap three, three years, years later. later. Three years or whatever. Four, however many years it was. <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey, we named our podcast the viral podcast <laughs> from the far. Oh, my gosh. It we've, is a trip, though. We've been having a great time. Oh. Is what we're trying to say. Yeah. We've been having a wonderful time. Yeah, it's kind of like adult spring break, I feel like. Yeah. The tour, the mm -hmm. live tour. It indoors. does feel like it. I love it. And we the, the bass be hitting good, so. Yeah. And we've been trying to eat good wherever we can. Did we were eating at Din Tai Fung a few times, our favorite restaurant? Uh, a few, five or six times. Yeah, I'd be craving that yeah. again too. I know. Um, do y'all want to get into? I don't know. Maybe a eating my ass. What's the eat, DM for the day, honey? Or you could eat my ass. What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell you. What's the DM for the day, honey? All right. I have a few here. I uh, picked a few perverts. Oh. <laughs> so, I've got a few DMs. Everybody ready? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and this took me about 30 seconds to find these three. Okay. Because they're perv. <laughs> yeah. They were right on top. I opened a DM from a guy named Christopher, and he said, where can I see that pussy? Oh, shoot. Okay. And then next to that was from a guy named James, and James says, I think you should just not wear clothes anymore. And just be naked for us. Shit, we wish. I would. And then Jimmy said, can I see your tits? Hmm. So those are some DMs I've gotten here recently. Do you ever write them back? No. 
Just send them a link for your tits. That's, That's what true. I was going to say. Yeah. Send them your Patreon link. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, I don't respond. But every once in a while, I'll fuck with one of them. But most of the time, I'm like, nah. I should send them the link. I just don't have the energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the thumb energy. You know, I got to go and copy and paste it. And it yeah. That's it. your like, time. I was like, man, you know? those guys aren't wanting my Patreon. They're wanting me to send them a tit pic. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, let me get yeah. on that, Jimmy. Or a freaking big spread it open pussy. Oh, God. Would you ever? No. It's just a dare? No. Wait. <gasps> Some guy asked me for a spread eagle pussy pic one time, remember? And we sent him yours. <laughs> Dude, imagine not even knowing that. <laughs> and he thought it was mine. <laughs> I don't remember this at it was all. the nastiest picture, too. It was years ago. <gasps> remember? Because we took a disgusting picture. It was not hot. No, it was disgusting. Oh, my. And Imagine he liked it. Imagine you could, like, Google image search and it pops up your face to the Stop pussy. it. <laughs> Remember that one time? Was it you or Beth? I think it was Beth. This was probably freaking 10 years ago. Not even. Beth had a uh, Tinder. Mm-hmm. And she uh, she was in the shower. And I asked her if I could swipe on it because I loved swiping. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh. Scroll it. I love says. to get on Best Tinder and just swipe. He used to get on mine, too. Would you do, like, oh, who my. you would actually think Beth would match yeah. up with? Or you just <clears throat> go off of what you liked? A little Either. bit of both. Yeah. And then I matched with this guy. And I put, what was it, Beth? He goes, hey, what you getting into tonight or something like that? And I go, <laughs> I go. Hey man, you got twenty bucks? I can borrow. <laughs> yeah, we used to fuck with people, oh, dude. That's all we do is fuck funny. with people. That's all we do is fuck with people. And then we wouldn't hear from them again. I but know. the guy that got the puss pick, he goes, "Oh, that's beautiful," or something. And we were like, "God, get out of here!" <laughs> hey, looking like a damn horse pussy. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what he's trying to go for, though. Shoot. Stop. We were trying to gross him out, but he loved, loved it. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't gross guys out, uh-uh. man. With <laughs> a pussy pick, come on. <laughs> Send them a picture of a just a hole. They'll. <laughs> I mean, they love even holes. a pothole. hole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A hole's a hole. <laughs> a hole's a hole for baby girl. A hole's a hole for baby girl. Okay, this girl Sarah said, "Heard cinnamon makes cum taste better." Ever tested this theory? She got that from the Monster Show. Monster Show. They talk about it. The Menendez brother, their dad used to make them do that. Oh, oh. oh shit! Well, that was uh, pineapple this whole time. I know. I guess I've, it's cinnamon. I've never, people say that. People say pineapple makes this taste better. So and so makes this better. It all tastes like pussy and balls and come to me. Nothing. <laughs> pussy and balls. Cum tastes like pussy and Nothing balls. Nothing will change the taste of cum. Nothing will change the taste of a pussy to where but you actually enjoy no. it. No, not, it will never turn fruity or cinnamon. I'm not, but I'm I not going to be like, different. Ooh. Well, I'm not going to be like, ooh, I've got a mouthful of really good smoothie in my mouth. Mm -hmm. No, it's cum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's still cum. (laughs) I've had different consistencies, but... Oh, God, yes. Chunky tapioca pudding. Yeah. Yeah, Watery. Boba, damn near. But then you get sometimes it just super watery. Yeah. And that's even kind of like... I kind of like the watery better than the chunky. Oh, way easier to get down. Y'all have... Have had way too much cum in your mouth to have that many consistencies, <laughs> to and to a, know them, and to have a favorite, <laughs> to have a compilation. To have Baby a compil- girls are cum guys love. <laughs> Bubble good loves cum. No, I don't love it. I always just chase it with the chase. Uh, see, I don't swallow. I can't. It got stuck in my hair though a few times. Oh, chunky or watery? Chunky. Stop. And hot. <sighs> and I've said cum and water do not mix. Have you tried mixing them? Oh, yeah. dude, have you ever tried to get shower. cum off your legs or back or anything <laughs> with water? I just take a shower. What are y'all doing out there? It just washes right the off. The cum squirts. Yeah. Just try to use cum and water and see what happens. Well, let's do a science experiment on our slits only. Let's take some cum. Whose cum are we using? We can use Brett's. Brett and Greg. <laughs> Brett and Greg's. And we'll just try to mix it in water and see if it mixes like oil and water. Yeah, let's we'll and get, check the consistencies. Oh. Beth just said Whoa. no. Whoa. Beth goes no. <laughs> we'll get beakers. You guys are uh, beakers. I won't be in the room when this goes down. I don't want to smell it. I don't think this has ever happened before. The Nashville water smells like bleach and cum. It does smell like bleach. Okay. I thought, uh, where were we that had the most interesting tasting water? Albuquerque had kind of a little little different taste, Hmm. I thought. Maybe they're coming in it. 
Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, gosh, fake calm, dude. <laughs> Do you know what I just discovered a couple years ago that I can't believe happens? What? Our toilet water is repurposed for drinking water, and I never knew that up until a couple years ago. Dude. Yeah. That's not good. Oh. How do we oh. get the non shit water? It's just got to be natural spring water. That, or you just got to get a whole house filtration system. But well, it's you're still, still going to be from the it's still from the leaky That's from true. the malt leaks. That's ick. So I just I just realized that I go. Why have I never realized that? Also, it makes sense because we wouldn't have enough water for people. It makes mm-hmm. sense, and also, what the fuck? I feel like we do have enough water, but. Who knows? I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. Why are there dams? Now I know nothing about dams. Oh, so you asked the wrong There's person. There's some uh, reservoirs out there. You've you, asked the wrong person about dams. You just never give a damn. I've never given a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I've never given a damn. I ain't never. All right. Yeah. Dams are interesting. <laughs> Whoever controls water controls a lot. Oh, it's that's a whole economic system. The water. That's a whole science. Power There's supply. a whole world behind water. Mm-hmm. I know, but it's And just, controlling it. And yeah. making sure it's placed where it needs to go and where it's a that's a whole water is such an interesting thing. And then you'll look at this janky ass water tower thinking, how is that holding water? Yes, and how is it just sitting in there? Yeah. And we used to be fish. It always looks like something that's gonna fall over any minute. Yeah. And I always think, is it rusty in there? Oh, Are we drinking that be. shit that's in that old ass tank? Yeah, but we have to drink it because a lot of people either don't have water or we die without it. So we yeah. we can't bitch. You know what I mean? We gotta just drink. We gotta drink it. Then and they we add do. so much like chlorine and fluoride <laughs> or whatever, and then yeah, people say that's so bad for you. So well, I we almost even... have to to get the piss and shit out of it. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it wild? It is. What's wild, the Mountain Valley spring water, a natural spring, and then they the government what cuts it off from the people. Oh yeah. Kinda. And then they have to bottle it and source it. It's like why can't Yeah. I don't know, something there. People might take advantage of it. That's it's a whole It's illegal to collect rainwater. Well, so I feel like it used yeah. to be some In some states. Some states. Think. Yeah, not I all states. I was collecting it not too long ago. What was you doing nice. with it? Just I put little barrels out there to water my plants with. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right. Should we do a? Oh, hold on. Show. Uh, Maggie's gonna get it. Okay. Maggie's getting it. Two truths, one lie. Hmm. Two truths and a lie. Is everyone ready? <clears throat> Paige, you want me to go first? Uh, yeah, you, no, I'll go. Okay, go. Two truths, one lie. Page is going. I've had one seatbelt ticket. I've dropped my phone in the toilet. When I was little, my grandpa told me Santa Claus wasn't real. Okay. Two truths, one lie. (sighs) Process of elimination. Do, do, do. I think the Santa, I think the Santa Claus one's real because it's too detailed. Um, I feel like dropping your phone in the toilet is a common thing. So I'm gonna guess the lie. Oh, but then you try to trick me. I'm gonna guess that the truth is your grandpa told you about Santa. The other truth is you got one seat. The other truth is. The second one. What's it? I've dropped my phone in you the toilet. You dropped your phone in the toilet and the lie is the one seat belt. Fuck you. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Right. yeah. 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 Oh no. Woo-hoo. Damn, that was good. Cause uh, yeah. that I couldn't have got that. Uh, Malt Licks. Uh, Malt Licky. All right, you ready for mine? Damn. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I love when I get you. <laughs> Chelsea's going. Two truths and one is a lie. Paige has to guess the lie. I like carpet in bathrooms. I once found a real fur coat at a Goodwill for 50 bucks and sold it for 500. I played the flute in middle school. What do you mean played? I played. You just played it in your room? I gotta leave it at that. Like played or... (laughs) Brett. I was in band. 
Okay. I um, played the flute. I'm going to say that the lie. What was the first one? I like carpet in bathrooms. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that the lie is the coat, the fifty dollar coat to five hundred thing. That's you, the do you lie. know, what, Maggie? The lie is I played flute in middle school. It was clarinet. Fuck you! Damn. Fuck oh, yeah. So you sold a coat? Flute. Yeah. yeah. It was a real. Uh, I had a friend buy it. I used to work at Whole Foods with them. I forgot his name, and I bought it for like fifty bucks, and they were online for like. Two grand. And he was like, I'll give you 500 bucks for it. Damn. Um, also, so I got, got. you got got. Also, I do like carpet and bathrooms. Oh, and, I love it. And I know that's a very controversial See, subject. See, I thought that, I thought you were trying to mess with us. No. I love it if it doesn't smell and if it's like looks new and lush, but also vintage, like a yeah. older bathroom. People used to do it back in the days and people hate it now. They're like, oh, like mold and that's nasty. I think it can be nasty. If you allow it to be nasty, mm -hmm. if you're taking a bath in your nice bathroom with carpet, I think that and you have mats, you're going to be fine. I love those old bathrooms with with carpet. I will admit it. I love a good vintage carpeted bathroom. Oh, you feel really comforted in them. You can shit heavy <laughs> yes. in, in a, in a freaking because it's different. Oh, that's right. I just busted a nut. Okay, you guys know we are very nut positive around here. You know, we want to bust nuts, but we also want you to bust nuts and hard nuts, you guys. And our best friends over at AdamandEve.com are helping you guys do that. That's right. Tell T, what's AdamandEve.com? Well, if this is your first time listening to us, sit back, let me tell you. Listen, AdamandEve.com knows what they're doing. These guys have been in business for decades. They have everything you're going to need to help you bust a nut. Okay, toys, ticklers. Okay, they got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, malt sticks. But tell T, I'm scared to order something. I don't want my neighbor to know I ordered a dildo. Guess what? They're not going to know, okay? Discreet shipping. That's right, okay? They're not going to wrap a dildo in some cellophane and send it to you where everybody knows what you bought, okay? They're really going to discreet that shit. Do you want a better nut? Yes, you do. Okay, so adamandeve.com is offering you guys 50% off just about any one item plus, <laughs> I'm not done yet, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. You guys, don't wait. Stop getting average nuts. Stop trying so hard for a nut and you just can't get there, okay? Give yourself a gift of nut, you guys. Go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be any adventurous new toy or just anything you desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's viral, V-I-R-A-L, at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping, and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, yeah. Carpeted bathroom. God, I haven't been in one that's carpeted in years. Since we were kids. If I ever build a house... I'm not going to have it as my main bathroom, but I do want to have like the guest bathroom bathroom be carpeted Gosh. with like a nice bath in there and like, yeah. And I want to go in mm. there and take bubble baths in my mm -hmm. carpeted bathroom. I love it. Would you get a plastic thing to lay down for when you get in and out of the bathtub? A well, mat. I'll, I'll slip. So I'll put another carpet down just like you do with on tile. Mm -hmm. Would you put plastic in between so it doesn't? make the carpet that's in there moist Ew. there usually is on the bottom of bath mats there's like a plat there's like a there's if you're a getting barrier. carpet in a bathroom you will figure out the ways yeah to, yeah to yeah so i know that's a very unpopular opinion but i love carpet and bathrooms so fuck you, fuck you. even Ew. some cute ass tile dude yeah love it i just hate when people change it or like rip it out if it's in perfect condition yeah, sometimes they just want something different. Well, but I, I would agree with you. Chelsea, so you want like carpet all over maybe your your whole bathroom, you think? Not the walls. Probably, yeah, well, not the walls. Maybe. Not, maybe. A cute matching tile with the carpet, though. Ooh. Jane Manfield had walls on her, carpet on her walls and ceiling. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Soundproof. 
a carpeted wall in a bedroom would be cool, but not in a bathroom for me. I'm just thinking of all the shit that gets stuck to the walls, you know? Yeah. You have to be in just, a dry uh, climate. Just vacuum the dry. walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say this. For some reason, if I had a carpeted bathroom, I, I wouldn't want to have my explosive shits in there. Mm-mm. Oh, I'd no. save that for the regular bathroom. The sprayer. Spread it. No, Spread I would it. say nobody can <clears throat> shit in the bathroom. Right. It, I would have a rule. That would have to be a rule. A oh, rule. Uh-huh. Just put a bathtub in there. No toilet. Yeah. Yeah. You this don't even t- need a toilet. This is for taking pictures and taking baths. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. come in here and shit. Right. Don't come in here and shave your back. You no know Greg shaving. would be doing some shit like that. Don't shave your back in my car to the bathroom. No shaving. Yeah. No shitting. Do that in the garage. If you got a puke, go somewhere. Go to the front yard. Don't outside. go to my carpet or bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, keep the bathroom. Shave your the- balls outside. Yes. Yeah. And also, we've had so many spreaders at the and shows. Shredder. We've had people come up to us after the show and be like, I have no clue who y'all are. I was brought here by so-and-so. And I had so much fun tonight. I'm now going to be a regular listener. That has happened to us mm-hmm. countless times at every show. Mm-hmm. It's pretty interactive. You guys are really good about being yourselves. Thanks, Brett. Thanks, Brett. And like, yeah. I like when you guys sing. Thank actually. you, Brett. It's crazy though. They're, they'll seriously say I'm a now a rock fucker. Yes. <laughs> They had an hour and a half to decide. Yeah. And their friends even brought them through a meet and greet. And they're just, I'm going to listen every week now. I it's know. Like, whoa. So if you're a new rock fucker, welcome to the club. Mm-hmm. We love y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, dude. The viral fucking Psst, the spiral. Viral spiral. <laughs> the viral spiral, baby. It's a the, figure eight. Yeah. Oh, fuck. The viral spiral. So we can't tell you we appreciate you enough. Honestly. So. Mm-hmm. There's not enough hours. And there's not enough words. To say. Or letters. Or letters, yeah. There's mm-hmm. really it's like not. I know, I, I do think. feel like that during the show and after the show. I'm like, I don't even know what to say to thank these people in this amount of time, but I hope they all know how grateful and thankful I am. Just I think flip they, them off. Hopefully they know. I think they know. Just go, fuck <laughs> you! <Yeah. laughs> I, I do sometimes. I know. I know. Hey, honey, it's me here. And listen, I get all of my healthy stuff done first thing in the morning so I can be a little naughty in the evening, if you know what I'm saying. When I drink my AG1 first thing in the morning, I feel like I don't even need coffee, dude. It gives me energy. And it's almost like a mental thing. Like, hey, I woke up. I did my healthy thing. I'm good to go for the rest of the day. AG1 contains prebiotics, probiotics, and gut-supporting ingredients to support your digestion. Reduce bloating and keep you regular because you know them shrimps be singing, baby. And let me tell you, I notice a huge difference if I take a few days off of the AG1. Listen, shrimps come back full choir. I notice a huge difference. And listen, this is interesting. AG1 has an all non-GMO ingredients and contains no added sugar. Wow. Just one daily scoop provides whole body benefits like gut, immune, and stress support. And listen, we be out here stressing, okay? We be out here stressing. I love AG1. All you got to do, scoop, water, mix, suck it down, baby. It's easy, and you're good to go for the rest of the day. Try AG1 and get a free bottle of vitamin D3K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase at drinkag1.com slash viral. That's a $48 value for free. If you go to drinkag1.com slash viral, check it out. Oh my. Oh, for real. If you don't know what to say and how to say it, just say, fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Or say, I love you, dad. Love you, dad. Well, what do you want to do now? Should we take um, a couple calls and do a little licky and then a couple calls or something? And then a malt sticky? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll go back to the malt eats. Uh Okay, perfect. Maggie, roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honey. Work story here. So you were telling a story. Um, people were talking about stuff a couple of weeks ago about work stories and um, weird shit that people do at work. Well, I got one from, <laughs> I used to work at the Texas Roadhouse back in 
oh seven mm-hmm. and I used to work with this guy. Real uh real anger problem, one could say. So I end up things end up not working out there, I end up leaving. And a couple months later I heard he got arrested and it turns out he had gotten mad about something at work. A customer had complained. He was a grill cook. And a customer had complained about the temperature of a steak. Manager brought it back. He disagreed. And what he ended up doing was putting some of his pubes, his pubes, on the recooked steak. Customer saw the tiny little hairs. Mm -hmm. And obviously he lost his job. Uh, he got arrested. I think he got like six months or something, like jail, anger management. But I remember hearing this story, reading about it in the paper. And when I found out who it was, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can totally see this guy doing it. Well, that's all for that story. Have a good one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So that's oh, all yeah. for that story. So yeah. you can do time in jail for putting pubes on a steak? Well, I think ang- the anger management was what really sent it. Like but he yeah. was, he was uh, no. acting out, right? And the pubes, the pubes, the pubes is what's in it. That's that is yeah. like a form of assault. Yeah. yeah, it's you can't see. You need pube <clears throat> consent, queef consent, pube consent. Yes, you can't just be putting extra ingredients on something that no didn't come didn't, with it. They didn't ask for a side of pubes. Uh, uh-uh. can mm-hmm. you sprinkle some pubes on top of my steak? Can you imagine if you, if somebody asked for that though? I'd say no problem. <laughs> I would yeah, have loved would to see it. that Damn. happen in like real time that at the restaurant, you know. What would you have done? Well, me, I would have been like, I didn't ask. I tried to be as calm as I could be. <laughs> like, hey, man, I didn't ask for pubes. What would you do if you were the manager going up to the person <laughs> and saying, hey, we need, to, we need you to come to the office? And then we, <laughs> how would you even say, like, we know these are pubes? Or <laughs> how do they know they're pubes, you know? I'm sure they watched a tape. But first off, what do you do as a server or a manager if the person says, excuse me, there's a glob of pube. Like, what do you? I would be like, what? They'd pick the plate up and be like, Come that, on, Camille. That, that was David. Mm. I'll go talk Camille. to him. That was David. Come on, I'll go talk to him. Come on. Like, ha- that's going to be embarrassing as a server. I'd be like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry the cook put pubes. <laughs> and try not state. to laugh. This is why I don't send anything back ever. So. I probably couldn't. I probably wouldn't be able to laugh at the in the moment. I'd literally probably be like shocked and like pissed. I'd be like, "What the fuck?" I'd probably laugh later, but in the moment, I would literally be in shock. Like, what the hell, huh. dude? He got a pube steak, not a tube steak. At a nice establishment like Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse is fancy, dude. What That's was a he, fancy restaurant. What was he doing to other people who didn't catch the pube? Right. What if they had to do a pube match to every cook in the kitchen? No, they knew it was his. They but knew it was his. You think they were like, okay, it's not matching his hair. He's, He's bald. The fact that he sent out a pubes. cold steak and all she wanted was it heated up. It's so And simple. he gets mad and puts pubes on it. Anger management. <laughs> That's six you probably just have That's a bad wild. Day, you know. Well, people have bad days, Brett. But come on, man. And to be that hurt, butt hurt over that. That's why nobody ever wants to bring back food. Mm-hmm. It's scary. <clears throat> but can you imagine being a manager and being like, Todd, get back here. <laughs> get back here. I'd literally be like, what are you doing, man? Are these pubes yours? You can't put pubes on people's steaks. And they got the cops involved in jail. But he only probably got got because he said, yeah, those are my pubes. So he should have just denied the pubes. He was probably like, fuck her. Yeah, mm-hmm. I put pubes mm-hmm. on her steak. Can you imagine getting mm-hmm. a call? At the, at the down at the station, and it's like, hey, this is Cynthia. I'm the manager of Texas Roadhouse. Could you get down here? We got a pube situation. <laughs> I wonder who called the manager. You think was the, manager the manager called the cops or the person who ate the pubes? We don't know. It's like, yeah, it's real hairy. Either it's real hairy down here. <laughs> hey, we got a hairy situation. Down here. <laughs> we got a real hairy. <laughs> hey, we got a hairy situation down here. Oh God, bro, cooks be cooking. I'm sitting here freaking out, but I leaked a lady's cheese, so I can't really. Yeah, my I, mom's quick I, to I send did back some stuff. stuff too. I hate it. 
Yeah, Brett's mom bad for her. brought back that crazy breadstick because it had one pube on it. it kept yeah, it we had it. an actual pube. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about that. It probably People was my be... pube, too. Hey, pubes are flying in the air, dude. Yeah. People be putting pubes on things. <laughs> oh, I'll find my pubes on a light switch. What? Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am? They're four inches long, rooted. Ma'am? Rooted? Don't say creamy. Yeah, why Sticky. is it? Sticky. Don't say sticky. Well, they're sticking to oh the light switch, God. but isn't that weird? They get yeah. everywhere. Yeah. He should have went to the bathroom and secretly brought back the pubes, not freaking ripped them out he, in the kitchen. He might have done that. He, he might have. Yeah. They just saw him come back and discreetly yeah. place them on the stage. He should have placed one and not a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. You could yeah. probably get away with placing or one. place it in a casserole. Place them in a casserole and mix and it up. Mix it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle it on top like it's pepper. Yes. <laughs> It's like the almost, pubes better. Maybe he needed a break from Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, maybe he was trying to find a way to get fired and go to jail. Yeah. Wow. He didn't know it was a, it was a bad thing to actually do that. Yeah, maybe. he knew. Oh, he knew. Yeah. Yeah. To, would you know, Brad, if you were? A no, I mean like that. You could actually get arrested. Oh. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't well, now do he that. Knows. I wouldn't do that. Now I know. Can you asked. imagine having to explain that to your family? Hey, I'm going to jail for six months. <laughs> Bro, I just say it. Like, listen, I'm going to jail for six months. I sprinkle I pubes. Sprinkle pubes <laughs> on the steak. And then your mom <laughs> being like, steak. Todd, you what? Yeah, I would say that rather than anger management. I'd be like, it's pubes, not nothing else. <laughs> wow. But well, back there fighting, dude. <sighs> yeah. We've probably ate at that Work Texas Roadhouse. Probably. Well, watch out. Love you guys. One time when I was working at Sonic in Gainesville, Texas, me and Becca, there's this new guy, and he was, <clears throat> I think I might have told this before, maybe not. He was new, and he was very nerdy, like quiet, nerdy, and shy, and <clears throat> we were like, we were asking him questions, and he was like, oh, I, uh, we're asking him questions. Some, something got, something we got talking about, like. Long story short, I'm going to sound like a real big pervert, but it's what happened, okay? I was like probably, God, it was before college, so the summer before college, so I was probably 17 or 18, and uh, he was like, I was like, you want to touch my boobs? (laughs) He was like, yeah. Hey, at least you asked. You did did talk about this. Consent, right? I think we went back by the styrofoam cups, I think, or the walk-in. I just let him touch my tits. Yeah, I remember that. And then we left. Something about Sonic made us horny. We Mm. were, we were... We were wild and out at Sonic, fucking all the cooks, making out in the walk in freezer, fingered in the, getting fingered in the parking lot. Parking lot. I write you my numbers to. on hot guys's f- f- Hold drinks on. and I give it to him. Remember that one time we went on break together and we rode with this guy, and then his car broke down and we couldn't make it back to Sonic. <laughs> we just sucked and him me off. and you were like the only car hops, and he was a cook, and the manager was calling us, and she was like, "Where are y'all at?" <laughs> no, you don't remember <laughs> that. No. We in Marietta? Were in, we were in Durant. Where did we go? That? I don't remember. He was doing donuts in a parking lot and, a, and a t- his tire fell off. What the hell? <laughs> it was me and you and him. Are you sure it was Chelsea? Maybe I swear another... it was Chelsea. <laughs> I don't remember that. Dude, nothing was better than doing donuts. So we were like the only ones working. And she was calling us, where are y'all at? And we were like, we're, he got a flat tire. Damn. Where were we at the flat tire? Somewhere up the road. She had to come get us. <laughs> Her grounds. Wow, I don't remember that. But it sounds like something. I know. I Just try to remember. It sounds like something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds like something. Something we would do back then. Were you guys on the clock? No, we were, we on, were break. on break. Yeah, we were on break. Oh, I yeah. think we got yeah. like a, I think we got like a, 15 minute break. Oh, that's yeah. not long enough. You would try to squeeze everything in in those 15 minutes. Brett, have you ever had a job where you had to go in and push a time clock? Oh, yeah, for 20 years. Where? As you, a telemarketer. You pushed a time clock? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you it's, were a telemarketer for 20 years? Yeah. Mm. I just started slanging over the phones. Can you imagine it's talking telling. to him? No. God. No, I cannot. Mm-mm. If they weren't interested, I'd just say, is that never or just not right now? And I'd get them. <laughs> Very get, telling. And I'd get them. Oh. Yes. Very telling. Interesting. I kind of miss going in and pushing. I'd, I'd, you push your number. I think mine was 23. I go clock in 23. And then 
but I used to watch old episodes of Roseanne and they had the time cards where they had to stick. Uh-huh. And I never got to do that because that was before my time. And I always wanted to do that. Yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I miss all the old gadgets. Mm-hmm. It's too easy now and there's no actual buttons. It's just screens. Thank you. I remember we would go home or something and you'd be like, hey, we clock me out? Oh, like, I get never that hours later. <laughs> get that extra time. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. I was I, living. I never did that because I was scared. I was going to do it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, Some we people did it all would the time. even clock in and be like, click, 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 mark it back even. You can mess with the time. And then yeah. trying to get that OT, that yeah. uh, pay and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then people would put way less than what they would make on their tips yeah. for taxes, oh, that's, which yeah, yeah. it's like for sure do our, that. Our own management would do that for uh-huh. us. Yeah. I think my manager told me to do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a cool manager. She was like, some people do this. I'm yep. not saying. I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Oh, you made... Forty-seven dollars in tips today. Okay, you made eight fifteen. Mm-hmm. They do that for us. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to so. do that. When you buy a car, all that. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Malt sticks and malt e. Love you. <clears throat> hey, honeys. Destiny here. Destiny. Just watching the viral podcast episode one forty-five. And you guys said you want a fuck Mary kill option, so here I am to give it to you. All right. So we got fuck Mary kill. We got Aretha Franklin, we got Johnny Depp, and we got President Eisenhower. What? Give me y'all opinion. Whoa. Dang. I just want to hear what y'all have to say about it. <clears throat> I'm going to Google. Thank you. I love you both so much, and God bless you. Love you my know. honeys. Hey, love you. Oh, wow. What a random mix. That's the most random mix we've ever gotten. Sure, mixed a lot. Okay, so Eisenhower, President Eisenhower, I'm going to look up Eisenhower. I know, I'm looking him up. Aretha he, Franklin and will you Johnny look up Depp. Your, uh, Urena Cherry. Urena Cherry. Let's see here. Eisenhower. I know what Eisenhower looks like. Damn. Dwight D. Eisenhower. I got him. Now, I know nothing about this man. Maybe he gives that good D. I got it on chat GPT right now if you want me to tell you all about him. Dude, can you imagine imagine this guy right here, Eisenhower, just <laughs> pounding you? Oh, dude, <laughs> he, he seems <laughs> stiff as fuck. He looks like our grandpa. <sighs> Busting just my eye. Imagine him bending you over and just... He and looks moaning. like your grandpa, so you fucking him? Mm-mm, I'm not. Mary? Let me see here. Let me think about Brett, this. Brett, tell us a little bit about Eisen D while we look up urethra. So he was a president for eight years from 1953 to 1961. Damn, he was born in 1890. Damn. I know. <laughs> he ended the Korean War, um, had a Cold War strategy with, you know, that going on. Started the uh, interstate highway system. Oh, hey, yeah. that's smart. Yeah, mm. that was pretty smart. Maggie, he was born in Denison, Texas, right by Whoa. where we're from. Probably is your grandpa. She, bro, <laughs> what, what he guy. could be kidnapped. <laughs> he could be a great. He was a big part of the space race going on, you know, to get to the moon. Mm. He seemed smart. Okay. All right, I am going to. <sighs> big part of the civil rights too, but he was uh, a little cautious at first. <clears throat> really? Should, yeah, he sh- should have been less cautious. Okay. Can mm-hmm. I read about Franklin now? Aretha Franklin. She was a great singer. Mm-hmm. Um, let me look it up. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm think I'm gonna marry her. Ooh no! Gosh, Johnny. Oh, no, Johnny. I'm gonna fuck Johnny. I'm gonna marry Franklin. Kill Eisenhower. Same. Yeah, me too. I'm fucking Johnny Depp, mm-hmm. especially if I get to pick the year. Mm-hmm. I'm going to marry Aretha Franklin because everything I've watched of her, she seems really funny. She yeah. seems very, like, very entertaining in a personality way. She seems funny. Fun. And funny. I don't know enough about Eisenhower. I mean, maybe he did lay some good D back in the day. I don't know that. That's not in the history books. His middle initial is D. Yeah, that's what. Maybe yeah. for Dick Down, Dick yeah. and You Down. Yeah. So, but I'm, but as of right now, I have to go with that. Mm-hmm. So we're all on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody on the same page over I there? I think that's the first time. Brett's not. No, I'm going to marry, or I'll fuck Aretha and just have her sing to me while we're doing that. And then uh, marry Johnny. Okay. And we'll just kind of have that agreement, you know, that guys get married and they can just kind of, you know, for taxes. Okay. <laughs> so you'll marry for taxes. Yeah. That's smart. For yeah. taxes. Yeah, get on that And then side. I'm going to kill good. 
Dwight. Okay. You know, the name Urethra Ure- is just a little too close to Urethra. Ure- Ure- mm-hmm. Ure- Only if you think about it. I mean, you don't even have to think about it. You basically say it when you say it. Yeah, you got to stop thinking about it, though. Say it again. Aretha. 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 Urethra. You can't think about it. Mm. Think about something else. It is a pretty original name. Yeah. Aretha. Aretha. I've never heard it from in real life. I've never heard that, and I've also never seen a rat tail. Oh, I have. They're very rare, and I haven't, one, I haven't seen one in years. Well, I, they're, they're mainly in Oklahoma. I've seen one with hair around it, but I want to actually see the rat design shaved into um, the head with the tail. I've never seen that. Only so that's pictures. a lot of upkeep after you do it, you know? A lot of trims. Dude, yeah. Theo Vaughn needs that. He yeah. needs the rat shaved out and the tail. Yeah. I don't think he'll ever do that. I never just don't, say I don't, never. Because I asked him one time if he was going to grow his mullet out long. Mm-hmm. And... uh he said, I'm pretty happy with this. Well, guess what? Maybe he has a good bush and he could get a rat tail down on his dick. Yeah. Because he is the rat king. He's uh-huh. the rat king. And so then what if maybe he wants he's got to a good bush. Theo Vaughn and he has a rat shaved out with a tail by his dick? That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah it would. That would actually be really cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He should do that. I'd be like, bro, this is cool. <laughs> and then he gets a little <laughs> hat for the rat. I feel like we would know that because I feel like the women that had seen it would tell us. <clears throat> but also, he probably makes them sign NDAs. Mm-hmm. Hey, don't talk about my rat down there. You can only. It's see a secret. It. Yeah, it's don't a secret. talk about my rat <clears throat> down there. It's a secret. It's a secret. Wow. Don't let the rat get out of the pants. Right. We should do an NDA survey yeah. on the rock fuckers. Have you ever? Have you has? Has comment right now? Has Theo Vaughn ever made you sign an NDA? That's all you can say. Yes, no. You don't got to say what it was for or nothing. Just say yes or no. Can you say what if in the NDA it says you can't oh. say yes or no about the NDA? <laughs> Damn. I mean, I bet some are like that, yeah. huh? You like you have like to say like, no. You haven't signed an NDA even though you have. Yeah. Wow. Seems like any word you can kind of there's a work around it. Oh, dude! I even there's heard a rebuttal. in the Fiddler Diddler. Uh-huh. case all that stuff i heard that on his ndas it said what like something about basically you, this is consent to anything that happens what? to you oh in the did he ndas that they were signing so basically oh. when you're signing the nda not to talk about something you were also signing like for consent but all these people didn't have lawyers or shit to read yeah. over these things is that you, real well, that's just what's coming out. So yeah, that's what came out, though. Mm-hmm. That's came out. Damn, I don't even know all what's going on. There's so much. Oh, with there's that. just too much. But too that's one words. thing that, that came across, and I Damn. Heard, heard it. But. Hey, honeys, welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Listen, if you think deodorant, you think armpits, right? Let's stop pretending armpits are the only crevice on your body that is malt stinky. Okay, because it's not. Guess what else stinks? Okay, back of the knees. All right, your little your little vagina crevice right there on the side. Maybe your top of your fupa. I mean, I could go on and on and on. And that's why I love Lumi because you don't just swap it on a pits, baby. Uh uh-uh. uh, it works everywhere. Listen, I've got a uh, well. I don't know. I don't know what I can what all I can say on an ad here, but you know I've got some um, I've got some meat uh, around the vag area. You know it's v- it's very meaty down there and large. And listen, it gets sweaty, y'all. It gets sweaty. Y'all know this. My favorite place to put the Lumi all up in that fupa area. I feel clean. I feel fresh. I don't be stinking all day. It is a lifesaver. And <laughs> under the boobs. Listen, Lumi was created by an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. We ain't got to live that way no more. All products are baking soda free and paraben free and pH balanced for safe use below the waist. Choose from a variety of fresh, bright scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, and toasted coconut. Mm-mm. 
Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash or deodorant ripes or something, and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get 15% off all Lumi products with our exclusive code. And if you combine the 15% off with the already discounted starter pack, that equals over 40% percent off their starter pack. Use code VIRALPOD for 15% off your first purchase at LumiDeodorant.com. That's code VIRALPOD at L-U-M-E-D-E-O-D-O-R-A-N-T dot com. Please support our show and tell them we sent you. Smell fresher, stay drier, and boost your confidence from head to toe with Lumi. Damn, dude. No, okay. Well, true. thank you for calling in with that fuck Mary Keel. That was a good one. <laughs> that, was. that was a fun one. Mm -hmm. Hi, honeys. Confession here. Ooh. Um, so I really need to get this off my chest because I um, a couple of years ago I was pulling out of our apartment uh driveway and uh we lived on the main road at the time. So I was trying to pull out and nobody was letting me out. Everyone was being so rude. And I was like, what the hell? Why is nobody letting me out? So I was kind of in a hurry. I don't remember where I was going, but I pulled out and I kind of just like wedged my way in. And then I was on my way. I just needed to like turn at the next light. Everyone was so mad at me and I didn't understand why. I was like, nobody's letting me over. No one's letting me in. Honey, it was a funeral procession. Mm -hmm that I cut off and just mm -hmm. got right in the middle of. And I, every time I think about that, just feel like the biggest bag of shit. And I know that I'm the biggest bag of shit for doing that. I would never have done that if I known. Um, but yeah, I just needed to get that off my chest because I, I feel so fucking terrible about it. Okay. Love you, honey. Love oh, you, honey. Yeah. One time. When I was like seven or eight, our great grandpa died. And after the funeral, we did a funeral procession through town. Mm -hmm. And I felt so cool. You thought you were getting an escort. <laughs> <Really? laughs> I felt, I felt, I was like, oh, is this how celebrities feel when they get like police escort? Mm -hmm. I felt like, I felt like, hey, we're coming through town. Mm -hmm. Stop for And us. everybody was stopping. You uh -huh. stop for me. Were you rolling down the window, like waving and acting like you were <laughs> in a, a parade? Prince? This? I I just remember f literally feeling cool. I'm like, that's right. Oh, yeah, I, I, Grandpa. I, I'm, you know, our Grandpa died. Our Grandpa mm -hmm. died, did this for us. You mm -hmm. know, this is what we're doing. You know? <laughs> I'm like seven or eight. No, it's out of control. But it is true, you know. Well, I wouldn't feel bad. That yeah. sounded like it might have been a funeral. A funeral, funeral too. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't feel bad, honey, because you didn't know. If you would have known and you tried doing that, yeah, Wait. like, come on. But, you know, once you found out, just kind of just do better next time. Are you supposed to stop on the opposite side of the road and wait for the whole funeral party or just go? Because me and Beth were driving and there's a funeral going past us and we pulled over and then it was taking, you know, a good solid oh, wow. four minutes of cars. And we're like, can we just start going or does everyone on the opposite side of the road stop too? I, now that I don't know opposite side of the road. I don't know. Because how do you know when it ends? Mm -hmm. You'll kind of, I think you know because everyone stays pretty tight. And when it's done, it's just loose traffic. You yeah. kind of know. Yeah, you do know. But, dude, some funerals have a good grip of people. So yeah. if you're on the opposite side. Opposite I side, I don't know. I never thought, are you supposed to stop, Beth? Probably because what if they're taking a lot yeah. of time? We stopped the whole time, but... Were other people stopped? Yeah. Okay, then I'd stop. But we were kind of creeping up a little, then stopping again, and we're like, well, we don't know what to do. Yeah. I think yeah, he says never cut in between the cars sure. or and pull over. You pull, should, uh, okay, you do yeah. pull over. Then you did the right thing. Yeah. It's just job. a sign of respect. Good job. Especially in smaller towns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is a smaller town thing. That's yeah. not really a big city. You can't in a big city. I don't ever see it no. anymore. That's, I know it's very rare. Very I've rare. I've seen it a couple times in Tennessee. Like if police officers have died and yeah. like I've seen it for sure. Yeah. It's, um, I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, it's just to pull over and, and not, yeah, y'all did good. 
Yeah, isn't it a trip that people uh, just get driven and there's a, a person in a car? I don't think I could ever be the driver of Why a not? first. I don't know. I don't know if I'd Vision. even ever want to check my rear view mirror. And like, I'd be freaking myself out. They're so used to it, though. They're not freaked out by this. Yeah, you know. Somebody's got to do it. I know. And so there's a job for everyone. Yeah. Yep. And then when we were flying, when we went on our vacations this last summer, was it my Uncle Ryan? He was telling me he used to work at an airport and just how many bodies are flying with you that you don't even know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dang. Very, very interesting. Bodies. And right. then the casino thing was kind of interesting. That guy, the, the casino host, told us one person dies every night, pretty much. At the casino? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Vegas or where? This was in uh, Wendover. So it was a small casino. So yeah, in Vegas, I'm Then sure. can you imagine Vegas? Yeah. Oh, they're uh, probably getting... Wow. Every, multiple a night. Oh, 10. A wow. hotel, maybe. Yeah. They said it was so bad, too, that most families just keep gambling. After, yeah. after they take the dead family member away, they're still pulling slots and taking names. That's how you know you have a slot machine, mm -hmm. a slot problem. That's when you need to call 1-800-HELP-GAMBOLING. <laughs> if your damn husband dies and you're letting them roll out the body and you're not giving up your seat. Dang. They thought it was a sign, maybe. That's They're rolling out his playing. body and she's trying to roll for them sevens. He said, don't Dang. ever quit. You got a problem. Damn. <clears throat> hey, well, should we do our little... <laughs> Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. Give us a I didn't know we were doing love hate, dude. Brett, come on, man. Brett. Do you not have it? No. Let me let me try to find it. You guys want to talk amongst yourselves? Well, no, we're gonna be quiet and let you try to we're gonna be quiet and let you try to get the love hate. Come on, Brett. Brett. I can't install okay. Garage Band. Hold on. I don't it's need storage. Fine. It's fine. Hold on. I think I have it here. Did you send it to me? Oh, my God. Oh. I don't have it. Okay. Maggie doesn't have it. Hold on. So. Okay. Here well, we're going to move on. You got it? I have it. Here we go, it's everybody. Pulling, it's pulling up. Here, just hold it up to your mic. Okay. Here we go, everybody. You hold ready? On. It's hold pulling on. up. It's loading. It's loading. I guess. See? Kurt 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 it's not loading though. Wait, um, do we not have it on here for real? No. Can y'all oh. put that on there? Oh, today? it's still loading. Hold on. Loading. Did y'all hear me? Kurt Loader. Brett. 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 Are put you that being on serious? Here. He's still backed up forty sound bites. I uh, know. Brett, can you put it on there today? Yeah, I'll put it on. Are you lying? No, I will. Okay. I will do it. Do All right, it. let's just do our love hate. Mm. Yeah. Everybody ready? And we're starting with hate first. Love. Hate love, hate love. Something I hate. Y'all ready? Mm hmm Jarred Alfredo. Jarred. Oh, like ravi the ravioli thing? I Jarred. Oh, Prego sauce and stuff like that? <sighs> like Alfredo in a jar. Okay. I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it. Mm -mm. It is so easy to make an Alfredo sauce. And I know that's, I know that's annoying to people because they're like, we don't want to make it. We don't want to use the jar. It takes 60 seconds to make an Alfredo sauce. It's heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. And butter. You mix it, you warm it up. And it's so good. Kareem Adjul Abul Jabbar. Kareem Adjul Jabbar. It is easy now that I know, but before I would just buy, like back in the day, but after you start making your own, you, it's hard to even go back to the can. Because it tastes, the yeah. can tastes mm -hmm. nasty. When you, it's like with anything though, you start figuring out how to cook or yeah. do a little better and then you, it's, yeah, you can't go back. Anytime I see a jar of the Alfredo, instantly I'm in a bad mood. Mm, yeah. I'm like. What do you think's the worst one? Just any of them. Mm -hmm. Any jarred Alfredo. Ugh. Bro. What? Just now? It just disappeared. All right, Brett. When I played it. Lock your phone. That's a good on. one. Put your phone up. No, I can't. Brett, it's okay. We've, it's okay, we're Brett. We're done past that. Yeah, we're, we're done past it, Brett. Hey, Brett, you're interrupting we're the, po the pasta. Done, pa done past it. Come on. Okay, something you hate. Um, I hate. Uh, taking off my makeup at night <gasps> when you're just chilling and mm -hmm. you're like, dude, I have to still go do that. Yeah, yeah. that's horrible. That's that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh. Yes. <laughs> that's a lot of reasons why I don't put it on most of the time because I don't want to take it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys don't need it. 
Thank you, Brett. Thanks, thank, Brett. Yeah, thank you, Brett. Uh-huh. Thank you. What's your guys's? You got any? Are we doing? We're doing hate, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I hate the hotel air units. Oh. oh they got them rigged, yes. and it's always hot in there. They keep it on eighty. When you walk in, you're just sweating. It doesn't make sense. It's like, wouldn't the bill be more if you're having that drastic mm-hmm. change? Mm-hmm. They don't let you control it. Mm-hmm. So. That's a good one. But why do they keep it 80 degrees when you walk in and then you freaking put it down to 60? Cost. Cost. <laughs> Cost. But you're paying Energy. for the room. Energy. You're paying it for you're paying for it while you're in there, not before. But wouldn't you think that it would cost more going and putting it down 30 degrees all at once? I don't know. That's true. <laughs> Could be. That's Who, a good point. Yeah. Because but I bet yeah. I bet it doesn't take a lot of energy to get that small of a room right cool down quickly. So yeah. it may it may not be cheaper. That's also a good point. It's like Thank muggy you. Mike in there, dude. I but walk if, in mad, yeah. and it's so muggy and smelly and crusty. And they're dusty. all like that. Yeah. Well, That's we can't afford one. we can't afford to stay on the Ritz during the Valor Podcast tour. So no, when we get that Joe Rogan podcast money, when, when we'll, we start making that Joe Rogan podcast money, we'll put y'all on the Ritz. We'll but get do you that they? LL for you. Do, but does the Ritz? allow you to do that i think so. i think it's i've never much, stayed at a ritz it's a much nicer room I you never can st- control yeah. the climate yeah hmm. i bet beth starts calling and uh, keep the room at 69 for when we <laughs> walk in right you gotta hate yeah i hate it when people point at teslas the trucks like no oh, god <laughs> that's a good one because <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're actually right Maggie yeah. did that to me like <laughs> five times Hey, look, it's a Tesla truck. Look. I was like, oh, yeah. Maggie, have you never seen these? She's like, no. That's a good one, Brad. Yeah. No. Thanks. <laughs> okay, now something we love. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> something I love. Um, when people tattle. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You do love that. Because I feel like you like to know things. Well, and not necessarily like, not little kids tattling and not like in a serious way, but Y'all, they will tattle on Greg, on Brett, if they do something. Like, if Brett does something, if he if he talks to me with an attitude, I'll go, I'm telling Paige. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chelsea tattles. We love to tattle. Tattles. And I'll go, Paige, Brett got it rude with me. And she'll be like, Brett, and vice versa. If Greg does something, anything, Maggie will come up and be like, guess what Greg did? I'm like, what? Uh-huh. And so <laughs> we, we all tattle on our guys, and we tattle, and, and it makes me happy. Yeah. And if I say something to Greg, he'll be like, oh. What'd you do, Maggie? Tell on me. Uh-huh. And What'd he does. Tell? Why'd you tell her? Yeah. Oh, Greg hates the tattling. Uh huh. The other he day in the it. car, I got a tattle right now. He he was like, it's just me and him. Paige, do you think Maggie's a rat? I'm like, what? He goes, he goes, do you think she tattles on me a lot, Maggie? I'm like, who do you think tattles on you more, Maggie or Beth? He's like, Maggie. She's yeah. the rat. She and he's so worried about it. Yeah. And it's nothing. It's nothing serious. That's nothing. what's funny. And I really don't tattle on him. That's what's funny. It's so funny. Dude. It's nothing serious. It's things that are like uh-huh. funny. And even in action, Greg will say, "Are you gonna? Are you guys gonna tattle on me?" Yes, huh. in action, he does do that. You guys are so worried. On me, yeah, you just you? have to expect the tattle, <laughs> and it makes me happy. <laughs> when I hear a tattle, it makes me happy. Dude, a tattle. Yeah. And so. it usually always goes back to the person. Oh, if we a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like we went to the cheesecake factory last night. Yes. <laughs> gotta be. Well, I gotta and, be and I tattle. drove separately, and Mag- Greg was picking up Maggie and the girls to head there. And I'm like, "Where y'all at?" And Maggie's like, "Greg missed the exit." Now he goes, "We're down." And she, he goes, "I looked up, and we're downtown." He missed the exit. I go, "Where the." F- where the fuck are you going? He wasn't paying attention. He just was not. driving. It's kind of a circle. And know? that's what he that's what he does. He does not pay attention. He just drives. So they finally get there 20 minutes late. And I was like, I go, Pookie, what happened? He's like, what are you talking about? Uh, I go, you left the house 40 minutes ago. I go, where are you? He goes, no, we're good. I go, did you miss the exit? He's like. <laughs> and he got mad and walked away. <laughs> and you knew. He's like, time on me. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. And I love it, so. Tattling on Greg, dude. I heard that guys are really, uh, they don't like admitting stuff like that, you know? Huh. Oh, taking directions. accountability. <laughs> you mean taking accountability? Yeah. Especially directions. Oh, yeah. Because we're supposed to know our where we are, our compass. Why are you no, supposed to know? It's just a thing. I'm not, I'm just a messenger. I okay. didn't, I'm not saying that. I okay. heard that, you know? 
on the, okay. the TikTok land. Hmm. Well, if you're driving, then you should know where to go. Yeah. And don't miss an exit six times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he does. And he six? does. Oh. You have to tell him. Tell him. And and he didn't have the GPS on, which he shouldn't need it. But he goes, oh, oh, well, I don't know where to go now. And yeah. I'm like, Greg, yeah. Whoa. put the damn GPS on it and hey, get there. That's a lot for him to admit, though. Good for him. What's your love, honeys? My love, I love when a coffee is made perfect. <sighs> the right amount of ice, the right oh, creamer. Just, right amount of sweetness. Yeah. Because coffee is freaking eight, nine dollars. So you want it made right. Yeah. 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 That's a good eight, one. Eight, nine dollars? Yeah, dude. Starbucks, yeah. any of them. I know? remember when a Starbucks coffee was like four bucks. <sighs> Mine's like two. Those are the good old days. Yeah. But that's a good one, yeah. You if you get a eight dollar coffee that's messed up, I'm mm -hmm. pissed. Uh -huh. I'd be mad. And you don't want to take it back because you don't want pubes sprinkled right. on your whipped cream. You don't cream. want Todd not not working at we're working at Starbucks now. <laughs> yeah. You oh know? My gosh. Do y'all think they have an attitude when you hit no tip? No. <laughs> Cause they can see that you hit no tip. I don't I think so. I usually do a dollar per drink. Just say whoops. No, I'm already paying eight dollars <laughs> for a drink. I don't need to tip. I don't think so. I think they appreciate when you do, but I, I don't. I don't think so. Because I feel like they're they're people too, and they have the opportunity to do that as well. And they sometimes themselves won't do it, so they get it. Yeah, I just know people that have worked at Starbucks, and they're like, the tips are the like our only pretty much money maker, and yeah. they all share the tips at the Literally. end of the day. So yeah. I usually just try to. And Starbucks is billions, <sighs> and they can't pay them, and they need to pay them more. That, yeah. a, a, a livable wage, y'all. That's mm -hmm. a whole nother. That's a Come whole on. nother. I know. Bucket. A, that that's a open up a can of whoop ass. Agree. Mm -hmm. That's a whole. Don't get me started. I could never be a CEO of a company making a billion dollars a year more, like Walmart or whatever. Shit, more, yeah. Well, but you're banking. And pay my cut. Don't get me started on that. Nothing pisses me off more than that. I, I wonder know. how much Starbucks employees make in, let's say, just Tennessee. What's the Jimmy? dude? I think the minimum wage here is is like eleven twenty five. Is it? I think. Or maybe that was San Diego. I don't know. No, that's San Diego. Yeah. Did you see how much people make at uh, Bucky's on that sign? Yeah. People at Bucky's <laughs> get paid well. I think at Bucky's. Minimum wage in Tennessee is seven dollars and twenty five cents. What? Not okay. No, that's not okay. That would have been. That's horrible. That was okay fifteen years ago. Exactly. The world's fucking changed. How's yeah. that legal? Inflation. <laughs> you can't even buy groceries. Working a full day. Well, that's gotta probably, go live. That's probably you know they got people right where they want them type of thing. Who knows? It's seven twenty five. That's mm -hmm. fucked. Maggie, it was the same. I mean, I was going to say, I feel like that's what it was when we started working at Sonic. Compared to back 10, 15, 20 years ago, it's gone up this much, but then cost of living is, mm -hmm. it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not equaling right. out. That's the problem. It's that's not the problem. Up, so people are just yeah. struggling. Yeah. So, um, but you got to love. Uh, are you, oh, I'm like, I did my, um, yeah. Bucky's car service manager makes 125K. Hell yeah. My love is going out to eat. I like to go out to eat. I mm. want somebody to bring me my food. Oh. I don't want to have to cook and clean. Yeah. yeah. And I want refills in my cup. Yes. And that's what I love. I feel you. Oh. I love that and too. And looking at the menu and seeing the options. And oh. then just getting to eat and bounce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bounce that ass. You're right. I love that. You're right. That's a good one. Brett, what do you love? I love earplugs. Okay. Especially rooming with Chelsea. Yep. Yeah. Those are some really good earplugs. I found mine that I lost. Oh, you so did? I'm happy. Yep. Okay. What what brand are those? Should we <laughs> shout them out or nah? Should we wait? I just get the the the, the, the little cheap um, pink and yellow ones. You get it from Amazon. They're like you can get them anywhere. Yeah. And I just buy them in like a bulk, like a big a big box, and, mm -hmm. I, and I buy it like once every two years. I love. They seem the better than feel. other ones I've tried. So. Mm -hmm. The like. look and the feel of earplugs, I, I've always just loved those. Oh, I sleep well with earplugs. I can't use them, but I love squishing them and looking at them. Yeah. 
But I shouldn't say I love them because I really don't want to wear them. But it, sometimes you just have to. Well, you're. I think anytime you block something, that's bad. You already said you love them. On certain occasions, I should sure. have said. Okay. Because they came through big okay. recently. Yeah. But okay. I don't want to wear, I don't think you should block anything. Okay. Ever. What about the haters? For, I always forget about them. <sighs> Not even thinking about them. Yeah. What about the strong sun when it's coming uh, down on you? You can't block that out? Well, you just go in the shade. That's I guess. Well, that's a block. <laughs> what about. You're um, blocking. You're blocking. You're blocking. Think about, you didn't think about that, did you? There are certain situations, yeah. <laughs> okay, so sometimes blocking is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what about when you are in basketball? And you block. And you need to take <laughs> Come on, Brad. You, you didn't think about Yeah, you, you need didn't to think block. about none Sometimes of this. you need to block out. Yeah, okay, basketball. that's a good block. <laughs> what if you have Legos and you need to... <laughs> and you need a block. <laughs> and you need building blocks. Brad, you didn't think Brad, about none of this, I did didn't. you? Mm -mm. I didn't. You got to think, He brother. blocked yeah. it all out. <laughs> he blocked it. <laughs> you blocked it out. I'm a blockhead. Blockhead. You got to think about these things, Brad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Imagine <laughs> listening and you're like, think, you got to think about these things. Like if you weren't following along, that'd oh, be wild. Maggie, you got another call for us. I sure do. Here we go. Hi, honey. Confession and question time here. When I was 19, I married my older brother's best friend and had to move because of his job. That lasted maybe one year, and then he cheated on me. So during the two-month divorce period, when I found out he was flinging around and having fun, I decided to have my own. I had two guys come over in the same night, and they both finished inside me. And then I got a call from my soon-to-be ex-husband. He decided he wanted to come over and have another flingy ding. So I said yes, and he came over. And the first thing this man wanted to do was eat me out. So question is, what would you have done? Because <laughs> this is what the man wanted to do, and I had left the other guys up in there, so he got a little taste of somebody else. Ooh. So, <laughs> what would you guys have done in that situation? Would you have let him come over? Would you have done what I did? Tell me. Well, if my ex came over, <clears throat> oh, me. if my ex came over and I had come in me from two men and he had cheated on me and he wanted to go down on me, I go, Camille, 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 hmm. Camille, oh, Camille. Camille, try the try out two flavors. Camille, and then I would tell him afterwards. Uh huh. How'd that how'd that taste? How'd that taste? Because you Bye. got a, got a load of something that wasn't yours. Yeah. Do you I, think he could taste it? Uh, I don't. Because I mean, it's it's a taste. Were they eating cinnamon? Were, no. Um. <laughs> I don't dude, know. It would have had to been some. If she left it up in there, he knew. And two loads, and she wasn't even trying to get it out. He ate. He, he probably a, thought it was her. He had a Thanksgiving meal that night. <laughs> dude, he was full when he left. He was that. full. He got appetizer, dude. meal, and dessert. Yeah, he had a fucking two-course, well, three-course meal if he came in at two. Ooh. What would you do if he was down there and he was munching and he, and he, he said, oh, God, your pussy tastes so good? What would you do? Mm -hmm. I'd say, that's crazy because two guys came <laughs> in me today. <laughs> and you're eating it out right and now. And you're eating it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably do the same damn thing, and I'm not kidding. And I'd just yeah, leave it at real. that, and he can either take that as a joke or, yeah, or know that he's eating two guys come. Yeah, words don't even matter, really. I'd for sure tell him afterwards. Well, sometimes I do, Brad. You gotta think about it's that. True. <laughs> you can't just say words don't matter, brother. Kind of, kind of not really though. Well, it's only certain, actions. In certain times they don't, but sometimes they do. <laughs> That's true, though. What she <laughs> said, like she could tell the truth and. Do you I really want to know the truth? Now, if, if I have a friend, a, a hookup come over or a friend or somebody, whatever, mm -hmm. and he wants to go down on me and I had two guys coming, I'd be like, mm -hmm. well, let me, t before you go, let me tell you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to taste a couple different DNAs down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would look out for him. But the dude who freaking cheated yeah, on no, me. No, get down no. there. Get, eat that cum. Yeah, eat the cum. Mm -hmm. Eat the cum and chew on it. And chew oh! on it. Yeah. Oh! Camille. 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 Yeah. Freaking, oh gosh, though. Yeah. Imagine just eating a pussy filled with cum <laughs> that's not yours. Some, some people dudes love that. I was going to say, some guys love that. Maybe he does because he, he hasn't been with her. I mean, you got to. And then you he comes straight in wanting to just eat pussy. 
That's on you. What if he hurt? What if he was down at the local tavern, and two guys come in and they go, "Man, y'all wouldn't believe it. This girl just we I just fucked this girl. And I came in her and I found out my buddy did the same thing a few hours later. She's got both of our cums in her. And the guy's like, "Who are you talking about? Oh, Cheryl, that down on what what's and so and he that's his ex. And he, and he goes, texts let her. me go eat her pussy. He texts. Oh her. God, it, it would day. not surprise me. Let's have one last fling. Crave, he's craving cum. He's a cum craver. <laughs> what if he's a cum craver? Does anybody crave cum? Mm, I think yeah, there's one some, chick. I think there's some. Yeah. What one chick? She called it. Oh, yeah. Who? Who? Oh. Never mind. Okay, if he's saying never mind, I that's know, freaking I don't know me you, out. I don't know no, what you're there's a about. reason because we're time travelers. Okay. I messed up. I can't stand Drag, Brad, you. Lean back, I brother. Well, I don't know Brad, if Brad, Brad, your dad. You got, get your dad. Yeah. Your dad's here. Yeah. yeah. Roll the... Bye. <laughs> Bye. Because there was a really... F- Brad. Brad. Brad it's your dad. Call. Time's Brad. up. Brad. back. Uh, so calm. I think some people do probably crave calm. Yeah. What the flavor, texture, consistency, the... He, now that I don't, I can't answer. The pump. Stop. The pulse. Don't say the pulse and the pump. Ew. Ew. <laughs> My favorite's like the last drop. You Brett. Try to get it all out. Brett. Brett. It's your dad. Time's up. Lean back. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Um, Yeah. If I were you, honeys, I would have done the same thing. So mm-hmm. don't feel bad and at all. And keep doing it. Yeah. If he wants to keep coming over and being the freaking turkey baster to get your cum out, let him come over there and slurp it out. Next time, tell him to bring a straw. <laughs> hey, can I come over and eat your pussy? Bring a straw. Bring the, a straw. The thick boba ones. Yeah, bring a thick boba uh, straw. I got some clumps for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Clumpy. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. We love... We love that confession. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. So thank you for calling in. Hey, honey. I was just wondering, um, have you guys ever put uh, nuts, like almonds or walnuts or cashews up your butthole and had someone eat them out? Oh. I tried it and one got stuck and I had to go to the emergency room. It was very painful. I couldn't get it out for uh, uh, two weeks. So I was just wondering if that ever happened to you. Uh. First off, is she calling us from a CBD radio? I know. It sounded like the nut started coming out of her throat. Mm-hmm. And also, I think she's lingering, Maggie. Yeah, linger. I got it. I got it. Fucking linger. It sounds like an... An older woman who is a time traveler from the 1960s, and she's trying to contact us. Doesn't your neighbor do that? Yeah. Yeah. He I want to go hang out with him. I know. I want to do that, too. He might be listening. To- he probably can. Just dabble into our mics. Mike Wilmer. Just hack in. Mike Wilmer. Didn't it sound like, you know how like you see those movies, and it's someone from the 1950s, and they get a hold of a radio, and they're trying to talk to someone in the future Mm -hmm. that's what it sounded like she's doing and can you imagine if she is someone from the 50s and somehow through frequencies she got a hold of our podcast and that's the one thing she's asking us (laughs) what do you think well telling us like she gets a hold of like oh the future and she gets to ask anything and she's asking if we got nuts stuck up our butts you have one question and it's if we've uh, ever had almonds or pecans stuck up up our cashews Cashews. Hmm. i've only put them in my mouth and shit them out. Yeah. Same. I've only put cashews and nuts and stuff in my mouth. Ooh, I bet the almonds are sharp. Why would you even do that? So somebody else could eat them out, she said. And flavor. <sighs> I wonder so why they wanted to get a eat little them rancid out. Well, so they're not only eating your ass. They have a little snack while they're down there as well. The crunch. Nut, I guess the nut all stays together usually. But... Yeah, you need a better eater. Maybe get the guy from the last call to come over. Well, can you imagine if if she's like, hey, baby, will you eat my ass? And he's like, well, I'm kind of hungry. I was on my way to the kitchen to grab a snack. And she's like, what were you going to grab? I was going to grab a handful of nuts. And she goes, well, let's let's kill two birds, one stone here. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's how it happened. Or or he's like, baby, I don't want to eat your ass. I don't get to nut from it. And she's like, well, 
Surprise. <laughs> You'll get some nuts. <laughs> Eat this up. Wow. Yeah. That's so nuts. I've never stuck nuts in me. No. I've never been a a food sex, sex person. A whipped cream, a chocolate drizzle. I've that's too much mess. It's too sticky. Pop rocks. Yeah, too. I, yeah. I don't I've never done that. Mm-mm. Yeah. So I've never stuck anything up you and ate it out? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Well, we need to step it up because you dude, lady you from- stuck a squash. squash up you. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You're right. I forgot about that. But and that's- you stuck those candy hearts up your pussy. Yeah. Damn, you're right. Damn, you did it more than anybody. But she didn't go. Mm-hmm. They weren't lodged. No, they weren't lodged. I just rubbed it. She said that this nut was lodged for <laughs> two weeks. Just what take a shit doing? and get it out. I know. How do you not get the nut out? What type of nut was it? Meg. Huh. Mm. Okay. We have one more call. Okay. Well, I guess I have stuck more things in me than I realized. <laughs> yeah. I think there's more too if I think of it by the end of the pot. Okay. All right. Hit it. Hey, honeys. Big fan here. OG day one listener, first time caller. I was with my boyfriend last night dining in at the local McDonald's having our first chicken Big Mac. And over dinner, we were talking about getting a big container of Mac sauce and basting a turkey in it for Thanksgiving. So I never heard about people basting turkeys in mayo. I think it sounds disgusting. He claims that it's a very common practice. But I'm willing to try it if it's basted in Mac sauce. Um, I'm just wondering, have either of you ever heard of this or done it? Would you be willing to do it? Also, shout out to my man. He is a cool dude. He's got great dick. He fucks me real good. And I am just so damn happy. You guys are the best. I love you all. Brett, I hope you're not mad at me. Bye, honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a cool dude. And that makes me happy that you're happy and you found a cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. That Brett, are you mad at her? Mm-mm. And Brett's happy for you, I bet, too, mm-hmm. that you got a cool dude and yeah. that you shared that with us. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. I've never Good heard of the freaking Mac sauce turkey thing, though. Well, mayonnaise. She's saying mayonnaise. Do you just cover an entire turkey with it? I know people cook with, um, they cook like briskets and stuff with covered in mustard. That I've heard. I've never heard of the mayonnaise. I don't think it would be bad. Because it's just a fat. It's a flavored fat is what it is. Um, would mm. I do it? I don't know. I never mess with the turkey. If I if we have a turkey on Thanksgiving, I have so many sides going on. I don't want to mess with that. I feel like it would be so greasy with yeah. a bunch of mayo. Matter of fact, every year, I always never want to do a turkey. I always want to do just a big prime rib. And everybody's like, oh, we can't have a turkey. So we got to have a turkey for people. I never even touched the turkey. I like the turkey. I eat it. You like you the do. turkey. You're one of them. You're one of the ones. We got to have turkey. I'm side bay. I'll fuck up some sides. Oh, I can't wait for Thanksgiving. I'm going to do a couple different types of dressings. That dressing that, oh, oh. gosh. Um, that's my favorite. The peaches. That's my favorite. Brett Jeff, likes the Jamie peaches. Jamie likes peaches. Peach dessert. Peaches. I, I do it up big with the sides. Yeah. And we'll do like a ham or a tur- ham and a turkey or a ham and a prime rib if they let me. I kind of want to try that thing with marshmallows this year. Oh, I made that last year and it was good. The, the yam. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you have yams. that? Yeah, I think so. I love yams. Yeah. With the stuff, with the dressing. You hate stuffing. yams, Chelsea, but I can make a little one. I, I like yam. I don't like yams with marshmallows and sugar on it. I like yams made like... With sour cream and salt and the onions. savory. You did a good yam. Mm-hmm. It was like, I, like sweet I, I have a fries. picture of it. I'll show you. I need to do it again. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I love everybody eating and then laying around. Yeah. Uh, sleeping and then getting back up to eat again. And then watching football and then just repeat all day. Can we just play Super Nintendo this year and Shit. Jackbox? Yes. Get that Whoa. control ordered. I'll get, I will. We got a control that's broke, so. I will. I'll get it ordered. Yes, that sounds perfect. Can we just do that? And we will. Oh, God, that's going to be so much fun. We love being horizontal. Yeah. On Thanksgiving. I I thought you were going to say being horny. That, too. 
You Actually, like, you get so full, you don't. You're not even horny. I'm never horny on Thanksgiving. I don't think. I I'm too busy breathe. cooking. Yeah. yeah, I'm too busy cooking and eating mm-hmm. yeah. to even think about being horny. I never even thought about nutting on Thanksgiving. Hmm. Dude, have you ever yeah. nutted on Thanksgiving? Yeah. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Really? So you you have fucked after a big meal? <laughs> Probably. Huh. Had to have. I could never. I mean, had to have. Brett, you fucked after a Thanksgiving I, meal. I mean, I can't remember, but probably. Yeah. Y'all ain't eating as much as I am <laughs> at Thanksgiving. Yeah. If you got like a cream pie after. Oh, yeah. Brett. <laughs> uh-huh. Brett skips the pumpkin pie, goes straight to the cream pie. Uh-huh. Yeah. And eats it out. Oh. I see pie, I get horny. Oh. Mm. I think. I get my turkey stuffed. Y'all are stuffing other turkeys besides the one in the oven. Okay, so what's that bag you pull out of the turkey's ass? That's his insides. Gizzards, organs, heart. That's all the insides. Sometimes it's a plastic bag. Sometimes they put it in there because some people people like to cook gravies with it, stock. So some people actually cook with it and stuff. I think it's good to cook the gravy with it. Oh, God, I love it. Maggie loves giblet gravy. I love that nasty shit. <laughs> she does. She does. Giblet. Yeah. It's called giblet gravy. Giblet. Gosh. Do you like chicken hearts? I thought giblets were those little Mexican gums. Might be. Maybe. Maybe two words were used for both. One word were used for both. Maggie likes all the nasty things like that. Yes, the gizzards, the hearts. We've talked about this. She loves the liver. And I'm not a picky eater. I will eat anything. You love sardines? Sardines. Livers, gizzards. My dad loves that. All that shit. That. Maggie's pretty much an elderly woman. Yeah. <laughs> or like an old Chinese guy. Is that how they eat? Well, yeah, they love all that. Yeah. All that. yeah. Dude, my dad, yeah, he calls me every day and tells me he's eating sardines for breakfast or freaking. Bless his heart. Hey, shout out to Alan. He eats you're... a lot of prunes, too, I feel like. Alan doesn't have anybody cooking for him. Alan, if we were there, we'd cook you a big Thanksgiving dinner. And Alan, if you're watching this, we love you. He should come to Thanksgiving. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. All my sisters cook for my dad, oh, yeah. and it's so stressful because he's always it. like extra garlic. I need extra. Garlic. Oh, he's and picky. He freaks Big garlic out. Guy. Yeah, like he loves extra. Him and Dawn. Ooh, it's yeah. Then he needs to get a grater and go buy some garlic and go and just that. bring it himself. No, if you're cooking for him, he'll be like, "Hey, you got more garlic? Is there like?" You got to cook for him one night and see how it is. However much garlic you have, you have to add more. more. <laughs> oh, dang. Hey, I'm going to give him a run for his money. He may be like, hold back on the garlic with me. Mm. Yeah. That, that would, would be, be something. awesome. Yeah. I don't understand how people don't like garlic. Oh, it's so good. I can't decide what's my favorite vegetable, onion, garlic, or broccoli. I, I feel like you eat a lot of garlic. I think garlic might be my favorite vegetable. I think so. Yeah. And here lately, mine's onion. It's so good. <sighs> yeah, I want onion on everything, in everything, raw, cooked. It don't matter. Onion, 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 onion. I don't onion. really even consider those vegetables. Well, technically kinda. they are. I know, yeah. But you, but when you yeah. think in vegetable, you're thinking broccoli, squash. Yeah, I don't or, eat enough of that. Stuff. But yeah. onions, a vegetable, and yeah. if you're eating it, you're eating vegetables. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like big bell peppers. I like when bell peppers are thin, yeah. thinly sliced, or really chopped up. I'm picky on my, on my bell peppers. Same. I will say that. Yeah, I will say that. Yep. Um, you guys, please come see us on tour. Tour's almost over. See where um, it'll be over this where? month. So Minneapolis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Columbus, Detroit, Philly, Boston, New York City, Charlotte, and Atlanta. Get your tickets at theviralpodcast.co. Yeah. I can't wait to see you guys there and we'll see y'all there. Mm-hmm. Dang, are we you think we're about wrapping well, up? Well, I had a, I think we're wrapping up because I had a wonderful time. Yeah, so during this pod. Thank you guys we for love you guys. Th- sorry, thank y'all for downloading. Thank y'all for listening. Spreading. Thank, thank, thank y'all for sharing and being super spreaders. The most importantly. Super and all the spreaders. titties. Right. Yeah. Sorry. But you can't see nobody's titties right now. No, I mean like on the tour. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. We've been seeing a few titties here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, pretty. good Adult tits, too. Brain. And, dude, yeah. all tits are so different. And, like, so whatever you're working with, just keep working it, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We love it. Anything goes. And we love you, and we're going to see you next week. And don't forgive us. 
to give us a little malt call at 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. Uh, We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Look at Gary. Gary! My tummy's growling.